In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build the home page of the Kavera WordPress theme. So when you activate the Kavera WordPress theme, the home page that appears looks something like this. It has the logo, the heading text, the heading description, the slide image, the, the read more link. The title comes up here. The button link and button text is right here some feature content with title and description and link comes up here and all those blog posts which have images in them comes one after the other in the thumbnail form right here. So I'm just going to show you how you can set up the Kavera WordPress theme. Under the, when, when you move back to the dashboard area under the appearance you have the theme options panel right here. Clicking the theme options panel brings you to the Kavera theme options. The Kavera theme options has the facility to change your custom logo. You can put your custom favicon and you can put your Google Analytics tracking code right here. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to upload a new logo. So I have my logo right here. I'm just choosing a new logo and I'm just saving all the changes. As I move back to the front end, you can see my new logo appears right here. So in the next option, uh, I'm just moving to the slider settings and you can put your slide images right here. I'm just putting one of my slider images uh, right here. I'm putting the slide one heading. You can put any of the slide description if you have something. I'm just putting up some lorem epsom text. After this, if you have the read more link, you can just link it to somewhere on your website's page or if you just want to put up some external URL you can use that as well. I'm uploading the second image for my slide slider. I'm putting the heading for my slide 2. If you have some content for the description you can put it right here on the slide 2 description. I'm just putting the read more links to inkthemes.com. After putting, you have the option to use at least the slide 3 and slide 4 as well. After putting, I'm just saving all the changes. As you move back to the front end area, you can see your slide 1 heading has been changed. A nice image appear right here. Your read more link is had been changed and your description appears right here. So you can easily manage all those things. So moving downwards, let's say you want to change the feature headings, this feature boxes content and this button link as well. So moving back to the WordPress dashboard, we have the option of home page setting appearing right here. So the home page intro text is anything that you want to put on your main heading. This is the main heading of the website. If you have some feature headings that you want to show up right here, our products, our services and our clients area, you can use any of those. I have the default text appearing as our products. I have some default content appearing right here. I'm just, uh, let's say you want to change this home button. You want to change this, get this theme from to buy this item. You can just change the home button to buy this item and if you have some button link you can just use any of those. So I'm just putting the hashtag and I'm saving all the changes. As I save everything I'm just moving back to the front end of the website and I'm just reloading the page. You can see this is the main heading of the website by this item. Your default content and your default text is appearing right here. Now the next section is our blog section. This displays all the blog posts that have images in them. So 
moving forward to the theme options panel I'm just showing you some couple of options before I build the blog post under the styling options you can choose any of the color that you want for the website let's say I just want to choose the red color of the website here you can put your custom CSS option if you have any under the footer settings if you have some food text that you want to put up you can put it right here if you have the Twitter URL you can just put your Twitter URL right here I'm just using my Twitter URL under the SEO options you can put your any keyword description or author name that you want to use so I'm saving all the changes as I am moving back to the front end I'm just reloading this page now the website is appearing completely in the red color and as you can see everything is looking nice so next I'm just filling up this our block block section so this is all about the theme options panel I'm just adding some new post on my website this is the post one I have some lorem ipsum text already written with me and I'm just uploading a image in this blog post after putting everything I'm just publishing this post I'm also adding a new post I'm just putting some lorem ipsum content again this is my second blog post I'm choosing another image for this blog post I'm publishing this blog post as well and in the next I'm also adding one new blog post I'm again putting some content and in the middle of this I'm just putting any of the any of the image so after putting all those images and content I'm just publishing this post now I'm moving back to the front end of the website and I'm just reloading this page as you can see your website homepage is almost ready it had this heading description slide image and if you move downwards your blog post your all latest blog posts with images in them are appearing right here nicely they are already linked so you don't have to worry about linking them up you can just click it click click on them and your blog post would be open nicely so now moving to the footer section you can see you have this area completely banked so this area is actually completely widgetized so you have the flexibility to add up any type of widgets that you want to add so I'm just moving to the appearance widgets area there are four footer widget areas so in the in any of the footer areas you can use any of those things that you want to put up I'm putting up a search button in my first footer area all the recent post comes up in the second widget area any customized text that you want to put up can be put up right here and in the third footer widget area I'm just putting up any any other recent any other text as well and I'm just putting some dummy content after putting everything I'm just I'm just moving back to the front end and I'm just reloading the page as you can see your website has been fulfilled up it had the Twitter icon it had the widget area 
of the recent post, the search item, and, and everything else. So your home page is completely built up. Any new page that you add up on the website comes right here on the top. Uh, this website completely support the drop down menus. So you have you can have the multi-level pages on your website. So thanks for watching up this video.